Good day everyone. So I'm playing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and I'm thinking I'm doing pretty okay at the moment. I've got this handgun that if I can aim properly and get critical hits, I can one shot enemies. But when I come across bosses, I'm just struggling to take them down quick enough. Check this out for example. See, this is taking a very long time. If I miss my shots, it just adds more time to the kill. It's pretty much hopeless when you look at it. But what if you could take a, down a boss like this? This is the liquid cooling handgun and it obliterates enemies. It's an automatic handgun and being a scar dagger weapon doesn't need to reload as it generates its own ammunition. But it does overheat if you hold the trigger down for too long. And when it does, you would need to let it cool off. But every time you hit a critical hit with this weapon, it would actually cool the gun down a bit. So if you manage to get a lot of critical hits at the same time, you would be laughing all the way to the bank. So, what's the best way to get a liquid cooling handgun? Well, if we bring out the map, and we head over to Crackmask Cove. Once we get into it, I haven't actually been to this map much, but just here, if you move the cursor, is the Ancient Obelisk. This is where it spawns the enemy Lycia. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I want you to defeat some enemies around there. Lycia will spawn, and she can actually drop the liquid cooling handgun. Uh, let me just rotate the map. Okay, so if you get to this map for the first time, you come through here, but you also get a fast travel point. You can take that, run through, and it goes underneath the map a bit, but that's where it is. So what we do, we'll spawn there. Oh, sorry, we'll take the fast travel there, and we'll hopefully make our way and see what we can do. Now, we'll come across maybe three or four crabs along the way. Um, you can take them on or just skip them, doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, yeah, that's probably the easiest way to hopefully get the handgun. Uh, the other ways you can try is by going to the Chaos Chambers, if you have access to that. Um, and it hopefully will drop during that time. Um, also at the end of Chaos Chambers, you get the Rainbow Rabbits. You can try to hopefully spawn a, sorry, uh, redeem a pistol there. Oops, damn it. Crabs in the way. Uh, you can hopefully uh, get a pistol from one of them. Rainbow Rabbits. Um, and there's also a world drop, but it's going to be quite difficult, I would think, too. So just making our way through here. You can see we got a spawn point there. So got underneath this waterfall, through a bit of a cave, and there's the obelisk. So we'll just trigger that. And hopefully we'll see what we can get when Alicia spawns. So I'm just going to use my abilities to try and make quick work of this area. If I can aim properly. Oh, she's spawning. I can just hear that. There she is. So I'll just, just try and take her out again. I'll use my abilities if I can. Oops. Oh, totally missing some shots. There we go. She's dead, but she didn't drop it. Uh, any other, any other enemies? Yes. Oh, one there. That all of them? That's all of them. So unfortunately, she didn't drop any for us now or this time. But if we didn't have any luck the first time. We can try again. So one way you can do that is to on a menu if you do have access to chaos mode you can either turn it off or lower it um, I tend to lower it or even change it one higher one lower click apply and it actually respawn you back just outside the cave at that respawn point that we just saw on the way in okay so there we are what you could also do is to just quit out of the game to the main menu and then load back in and we'll have the same effect as well. So I'm just going to show a video clip of me actually getting the liquid cooling handgun from Alicia. And when I do, you're able to see that the stats are actually pretty good. 
Um, we can get better ones. I've seen before uh, damage can be two times, so it actually goes through faster. But it's also got a pretty good fire rate. Anyway, a uh, good thing about this weapon is that it does cold damage, so it slows the enemy down. And it can also have a chance to freeze them, so they become pretty much useless against you at that time. But wait, there's more. With the gun, I said it does overheat, but it does cool down with critical hits. So if you can get a few of those during your match or during your gunfight, it will help to do wonders. Now this is where your action skills and spells definitely come into effect. Besides using something that increases your damage, if you have something that increases your critical hit chance, it would definitely come a long way into the battle. And what I believe is the best ability for that is the Stabomancers from the Shadows, where all damage dealt is automatically a critical hit. This is currently the secondary class I'm using of my build, and it helps to take down bosses and other units as well a lot quicker than normal. And that is the liquid cooling handgun. Probably the best handgun, and maybe the best weapon overall in the game right now. I highly recommend that you get one. For more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to be notified when I post new content. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.